Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be discussing if we think Elisa Katoa is a must have. So the first thing we're gonna start with is his price tag. So he's sitting at 323K, so perfectly in the cash cow range. Our second one is gonna be that he's playing for the Warriors and they're having a lot of issues right now, especially in their forwards. So the biggest thing for him is he has that opportunity sewn up. So he was already in that position, but just makes it so much more comfortable with these guys having long-term injuries. So the best thing for him in that situation is his spot is his lease for the next month, which is the perfect amount of time for him to grow to his full value for you to then be able to upgrade him. So now talking about his play on the field, he received a lot of minutes in those first two games, which was awesome to see. So it gave him a lot of time to be able to score his points. With him, he's averaging 48 currently, and I actually see him as someone who's gonna be able to maintain that 45 average with ease. In terms of his base stats, he actually ran a lot of meters, so that was his big one. So this is perfect for us fantasy coaches because him running the ball gives him the chance to get those tackle breaks, the offloads, which is gonna make his scores a lot higher. So if we look at the three most important things to determine if someone is gonna be a great player and a great cash cow, so we're looking at in terms of the minutes. So minutes are there for him, the ability to score points in terms of his base stats is there, and also that job security over at least the next month, I'd say, whilst these guys are coming back from their injuries. So those three things are there for him. So I'd say puts him in the must have category in terms of his ability to be able to build that cash. I see him as someone who's gonna make us 200K plus, which is perfect for a cash cow in this scenario. The only issue I ever see with Warriors players is, as I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen in the past, if we've picked up these cash cow Warriors forwards and the coach always seems to interchange them. You know, they might get one or two weeks, they get that decent score sucks everyone in, they buy them, and then they're out, and they're not even playing in the team the next week. So that's something just to be a little bit wary of, but I don't see that in this situation, because in the past, they've had a lot of different forwards that they've been able to use. In this scenario here, even blokes like Sam Thide are trying to help them out, um, you know, saying he might be able to play 10 or 15 minutes for them. Um, so they're really down on forward stocks. So this is where I feel like he's gonna be a great option going forward. But as I said, always be wary of that scenario with the Warriors, because they're very flaky in terms of their forwards and interchanging them week to week. So guys, let me know what you think about that one. Uh, I think it's gonna be really good for the season and for our teams going forward. Uh, again, if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. That'd be much appreciated and we'll see you in the next video.